Do you think Ukraine is right to mistrust this uh, truce offer? Is it a cynical sort of misinformation ploy, really? Yeah, this isn't a truce offer. It's got absolutely nothing to do with peace negotiations. This is a Potemkin ceasefire. It's, it's totally bogus. Russia is still attacking Ukraine. Putin did not intend or expect Zelensky to sign up to it. That's not the point of this. Uh, what Putin has done is a, a very cynical PR gesture aimed at his own extremely unhappy domestic audience. He's coming under increasing criticism from hardliners for the inept conduct of the war. He's uh, seeing an increasing desire of Russians right across the board to see an end to the war. And Russia has now lost in 10 and a half months around 100,000 uh, soldiers either killed or injured in this war. That's twice the number, at least, that they lost in 10 years, the Soviet Union lost in 10 years in Afghanistan. And that means you've got 100,000 mothers and families who are grieving for their sons, and they want to know why their sons have been killed or injured. Mm. And many of those people are devout, orthodox, Christian believers. And that's why Putin has done this. It's right. to appeal to that audience. Well, I wonder, is there also a possible additional um, commentary, really, on the state of the war and the and the state of Putin's army? You've talked about they need the rest. Um, and it's obviously, in a, you know, as you say, you've talked about how many soldiers he's lost. But does that also point to the fact that Putin may be looking for the off-ramp that's often been talked about over the last few months? This truce might not be it, but he's still looking for a way out. Uh, there's been no sign that he's looking for a way out. If he was looking for a way out, he would be indicating that he's ready to make concessions, concessions which would mean stopping firing missiles and drones at Ukraine, and it would mean withdrawing forces. Uh, instead of doing that, and that would have been a very rational thing for him to do from September onwards, he's done the exact opposite. He's proclaimed the annexation of four areas of Ukraine. That makes it very, very hard for him to appear voluntarily to withdraw from them. He has doubled down on his military tactics. He's appointed uh, his most bloodthirsty general to bombard Ukraine. Uh, and so when Putin talks about peace, he only means peace on his own terms. He does not right. mean a serious negotiation. So there's really zero prospect of this coming to an end anytime soon. Uh, sadly, there is zero prospect of this coming to an end anytime soon. And this isn't even a truce. I mean, this is 36 hours. Mm. We may see some longer attempts at ceasefires uh, so that the forces can recuperate. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to do that later on. But what Putin is doing at this moment is he's trying to get the Orthodox Church, with whose leadership he is in an unholy alliance, to legitimize his war. Uh, they have backed his war up to now. He's trying to get the church to give an answer to those mothers as to why their kids are being killed and to portray himself as a man of God, which he certainly isn't, and as a benevolent ruler. That's all that this particular gesture amounts to. And as I said at the beginning, it has got nothing to do with a path towards negotiation, which I'm afraid is still a long way off and won't probably happen while Putin is in power.